This is my first drone recording onto cassette. Wow, very low fi But yeah, not terrible. Evening folks, hope everyone is well. In this video, what I'm gonna try and do is create a little drone, um, and then uh, this is for, for, for playing back live um, with the trusty uh, Walkman. This is the WM FX101 model. Um, what I like about this Walkman is as well as being a tape Walkman, uh, it, it, all, it all works. Um, it's also got an FM radio and an AM radio. So this is actually three instruments in one. So for, for live, this is a useful little device. Um, but I've never, I've never had, I've never used tape live. So that'll be something new. Um, so that's what we're going to try and create. Now, even though I've got a little bit of equipment down in my basement, I don't have a good tape recorder. So I'm going to rely on the trusty... What's this? This is a TR12 from Dixon's. If you live in the UK and you're similar age to me, you might remember Dixon's. And um, they used to sell all kinds of you know, TVs and radios and stuff. Um, there's some options for line in, but there's also the trusty sort of, you know, um, sort of uh, recorder there for recording your, uh, you know, stuff off the radio on a Sunday afternoon. Um, so. It's a bit of an experiment, um, but it's good. It's good to do experiments with sound. Um, so that's what we're going to do in this video. OK, I've just set up the Neutron um, so you can see. So I'll just talk you through what's going on with the Neutron. Um, sample and hold going to delay time. Uh, then I can control the sample and hold rate uh, here, uh, which gives you nice little pops and bleeps. Uh, which is very important. Um, I am then, I'm taking the LFO out uh, into frequency mod. Um, again, just to add some movement to the sound. And then I'm putting the noise output into attenuator one in, and then attenuator one out into pulse width modulation of oscillator one, which is set to a square wave. Um, and then obviously I control can control the amount that that's um, been affected on the attenuator switch, which sounds something like this. And obviously I've got, well, if we turn the VCA bias off, then I'm now free to then play with my parameters a bit. So that's the kind of thing we're going for. So I'll just do about four or five minutes of this. Goodbye. So this is when you remind yourself that you have very limited media rather than our modern computers where you basically have, you know, unlimited takes. I remember cassettes being easier to get into. OMG. For the audio files out there, this is a TDK D90. Look on eBay. Good old eBay. Right. Let's try and set up a tape recorder. Um, so I'm sending uh, this, the signal I've recorded um, out of the DAW and that goes to the mixer. And then out of one of the headphone outputs there, the white cable there into the, well, it says it's a mic input. That's what it says on the cassette player. Um, but uh, it will take the 3.5 mil connection. 
Um, now, the microphone light or the record light is lit there, so whether that microphone is also engaged remains to be seen. So um, let's let's wait and see after the uh, after we've done this recording. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was coming in a bit hot, but turns out just the volume <laughs> of this was a bit high. Worked. So this is the process I'm using. <laughs> uh, I'm playing back what I've recorded. Okay, so the first thing we've learned is that I can put a line in to that microphone input, but that microphone is also engaged. So even though I'm basically sort of giving it a, a sort of lot, well, yeah, line level signal through that, that mic is still on. So I have to basically, I mean, I might as well put, put this in front of my monitors and just play it through my monitors, but it's 10 o'clock at night, or it's 10.30 at night, or actually it's nearly 11 o'clock at night. So I won't do that. So let's go again, and then I'll just leave the room, um, and hopefully it'll be nice and quiet, or it'll record whatever ghosts and ghoulies are in the room while I'm away. But it... Works, it works. It works, it works great. works great okay i've just um done sort of the uh, the outro jam um with my trusty walkman and that um weird drone that was caught, put on tape it's, it's it's all right it's all right it's all right i like it i like it as has a real sort of character to it um so i'll put that drone sort of at, at, at the end so you can either watch that or just sort of uh <laughs> quit the video um to be continued, more experiments to be done. Um, I have got another similar tape machine to the one I used last night, um, which maybe is a is though it's older is a bit more sophisticated. So it's just that that issue with the, like that that the um, you know this this room mic being being on while you're while you're sending a line level signal to it. Um, I would like to sort of sort that out. Um, maybe I'll find a Walkman that can um, record onto as well uh, on eBay. Um, of course, there are dictaphones, cassette dictaphones and, you know, modern dictaphones. I think modern dictaphones is like, what's the point? If you're going to use tape, use tape. Um, but yeah, initial experience with recording onto tape, a weird ass um, drone from the Neutron. Yeah, I'm happy with the results. So I have that now for my next live set or my next Twitch uh, stream or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, let's give it a go. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, any questions, um, about tape, don't ask them below because obviously clearly I know nothing. All right. Cheers folks. Bye.